Warning, I'm a bit emotional. Any of you that have followed this channel know that I am very excited about the development of a new class of MS medicine, the BTK inhibitors. Well, we just got top line data from the first trial to be completed, the evolution trial, which studied a BTK inhibitor called evobrutinib against Abagio. And Evo failed. It didn't do any better in relapse rate. What the heck? Don't turn away because we're going to be discussing all that starting right now. Hey! Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. We have a lot to discuss today. Any of you that have followed the channel know that I'm very, very passionate about helping develop new drugs to better treat MS. And over the past several years, there's been a groundswell of excitement surrounding these small pills called BTK inhibitors, or brutine tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Presently, there's multiple manufacturers that are all working diligently to develop BTK inhibitors to treat MS. And at the Boster Center for MS, we've been intimately involved in these trials. Well, the very first trial completed, and this week we were given the top line results. It's a clinical trial called the Evolution Trial, and it was pitting a BTK inhibitor called Evobrutinib against an active comparator, Abagio. Now, in the clinical trial, the primary outcome measure is the number one thing that you want to compare. And the way these trials are constructed, the primary outcome measure is the frequency of relapses. So how many relapses does the people who are taking Abagio have compared to Evobrutinib? And then they compare that number. And we just got a top-line readout, and it was a negative trial, meaning that the evobrutinib arm didn't do any better than the abagio arm. And that's shocking. Now, this is a really big deal, and it makes a million questions in my head about what's coming next. The manufacturer and the scientists are aggressively analyzing the data, I'm sure. And so I assume that very, very soon we're going to learn a bunch more about all the other statistics that they were studying, but it doesn't change the fact that it was a negative trial. And that's really disappointing. Now, there's a lot of things that I wanna go over. One of them is the surprise of how Abagio performed. Traditionally, when you look at clinical trials, people on Abagio have an attack, an annualized relapse rate of 0.3. So they're having about one attack every three years. And in this clinical trial, the Abagio arm had an attack rate of 0.1, one attack every 10 years. So literally three times better than we ever would have expected. Evobrutinib also had an annualized relapse rate of 0.1. And so both of them did a fantastic job, but Abagio did way better than ever expected. And that creates a lot of questions in my head about Abagio. Abagio is not considered a high power medicine as it relates to bouts of inflammation, so attack rate in new spots. Abagio is, however, remarkable at slowing disability progression and brain volume loss. The BTK inhibitors hold a lot of promise, at least in my mind, because of the way that they work. They can shut down inflammation in the periphery by blocking B cell communication, now it's pretty exciting, they can do that without depleting B cells, so there's no significant increased risk of infection. But maybe more importantly, these small molecules can cross into the central compartment, into the brain, where they can turn off these activated cells called microglia. Microglia cells are very much involved in the bad things that occur in MS. They live inside the central compartment, inside the brain, and all of our other drugs have never been able to reach them, and BTK inhibitors can. And it's my assumption that that's gonna really be a good thing for MS. Maybe not a good thing for relapses, but a really good thing for disability, for slowing down smoldering multiple sclerosis. I am very excited, and I remain very hopeful, that BTK still might demonstrate superiority to Abagio in its ability to slow disability progression and brain volume loss, but more information to come. Nonetheless, today is a bit of a sad day in my mind, as the very first BTK trial has a negative top-line result. I promise to bring you updates as we learn more. As always, thank you for learning about MS with me, and until my next video, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.